back with another tutorial. So, um, I figured today is the perfect day for a potato soup. So, I'm going to show you guys how I prepare my potato soup. It doesn't necessarily have to be just like anybody else does it. Um, it's rainy in Raleigh. It's a bit frisky. I had a, a good wake up this morning. I'm feeling good this morning. Um, and so far, I haven't done a lot. I did one load of wash. Um, and then my neighbor had called me because she needed to bring her children to the babysitter, but it was raining and she didn't want to walk through the rain and she didn't want to be late for work more than she already was. So I picked her up, dropped her off at the babysitters, waited for her to feed her children, and then I dropped her off at work. That's the kind of neighbor I am. And that's the kind of thing we need to be doing more for one another. You know, I'm home, I have a car sitting in front of the house. If somebody needs me to do something for them, you call me, I'll help you. It's that simple. It doesn't take away anything from me. Um, it's not a lot of effort. It's no effort at all. It's something I do because that's the community I come from. You learn how to live with people and your life is not always going to be, you know, all rosy, um, but I do ble I believe I'm blessed in a grand way, just because of the type of person I am. I don't like too much headache. I don't give into a lot of tra drama. I'm not about that. What I'll do is uh, ignore you. I'm good at that. Yep. It's one of the things I do really well ignore the BS because we live in a society nowadays where people are so and adults we get on children about bullying but these adults that crowd this earth at this moment in time they are the worst and I don't understand why I don't know if it's a different kind of quality air that they're inhaling or what it is that they eat, I have absolutely no clue. But we've literally walked into an era of adult bullying. And I don't settle for it. I really don't. Somebody tried me this morning by doing so. And I had to set them straight and block them. And then move along with my life. Because that's how, you know, that's how life goes. But other than that, we're good. We're blessed. We are conscious of, you know, who we are. Um, and um, thanks to Avon Shay for joining the team or the club or whatever we want to call this. Thank you for joining my channel. Um, if there's anything you see, anything you hear, excuse me, you, you, you would want to respond to or ask or have me do cook bake please go ahead leave me a comment and i will see to it and then you know reply to it um but thank you for joining um so what we're going to do next is um we're going to look at the ingredients that's what we're going to do and um, this morning I'm having water. I'm not having tea. I had, I've had coffee though. I went to Target this morning after I dropped off my neighbor. I went to Target to get some groceries and I got some um, coffee at um, Starbucks. So I'm good to go for today. Other than that, it'll be just a day of drink, drinking water because I drink a lot of water. It's good for your hydration and your overall, you know balance physical balance um so i've been drinking the essencia over cheese and h2o water that's my thing 
Um, so yeah, let's get over to um, the ingredients, won't we? Shall we? Let's do it. So we set the stove on medium heat, and here we go with the butter. We'll just let it melt. Take its time and melt. <laughs> you know what human beings are, are really funny you have real people in this country that literally make it a thing to trash other people because they do not agree with their lifestyle or who they are, blah, blah, blah. Because I just saw a um, comment come in, and I'm pretty sure it's about, I responded on, there was a video, um, I don't know, I don't know exactly what the person in the video was talking about, but they were comparing Cardi B to whomever and whatever, and I was like, if y'all spend the same energy that y'all spend bashing other people into, you know, making sure you have voting, your voting rights are, in, your your right to vote is well taken care of. Oh, sorry. Let's add the vegetables. Then maybe this nation would be in far better state than it is right now. But, and then that's like two months ago. And you still have people that want to make it known that they think Cardi B is trash. You know what? I cannot. I cannot deal with that. I don't care. I really don't care what somebody does, what they've done in the past, how they're living their life, um, what talent of theirs that they're using. I am not the one to decide what is talent and what is not. And I think... People think having having an opinion is a beautiful thing. But it, it seems like nowadays people have opinions that um, are more envious than having an opinion to have a, a debate, a healthy debate. No, people just want to trash others because I don't know what. And, you know, I'm like, come on now. This girl how it has... This girl has, you know, a lot of common sense and you judge what you see. You see the character she puts on, the character that makes her money. That's the same character that a lot of other millionaires and billionaires put on. And they put on a serious face, which is a character because you don't see them behind the scenes. In the meantime, a couple of months ago, Many celebrities were boycotting Gucci, but I, I see them, especially the black, the African Americans. They're wrapping their Gucci again. You know. And you have a lot of these Christian celebrities too. All of them are wrapping Gucci again, and I'm like, oh, okay, I guess that's, that's what you do, right? Go ahead and do you, sis. But I don't want to hear nothing when they do some racist BS because they know what will happen is a lot of people will complain about stuff in the moment and then after a couple of months, everybody will be back to normal because that's the US for you. People yell often, but most of the time don't say nothing. Ew. We sauteed our, our vegetables. Mm 
That's crazy. I think this is the, the most conflicting or unconflicted nation I've lived in. And I see why many people just, you know, follow doctrines or follow somebody or idolize one person over the next. People are so easy to convince. Stop thinking for themselves. That's a pity. That's absolutely a pity. And I see it amongst our own. I see it amongst our own. That's sad. That's absolutely sad. But I do believe everything that's happening right now is happening for a reason. And at some point, it'll be clear why. But only for the ones that are paying attention. So, yeah. So. We will. Add the flower. Flower next. And then let's add the, the salt, the pepper, and the chili powder. Here we go. Is. So I have to transfer the soup into a bigger pan or a larger pan. So next we are going to add the vegetable stock. So 
we'll just let this take its time and cook. And then, you know, we'll make sure after 20 minutes we come back and check it. But do let it just take its time and simmer and cook and until your your potatoes are tender and your breath your broth has thickened. Make sure it's you know if you have to add some more salt, do it. If you had to add have to add some more chili powder or um, black pepper, go ahead, be my guest. Do it. So my soup has cooked for 20-25 minutes. As you guys can see, it has thickened up a great deal. So what I'm going to do next is puree the potatoes and add them back into the soup. And add the puree um, back to the soup. So it, it'll thicken a lot more than this. And then I'll see if the taste is good, if it's you know if it has enough salt and all that good stuff. So let's go ahead and do just that. Let me lower the heat. Get a different spoon. What I'll do is I will leave um, a few chunks of um, potato in the soup, but most of it I will puree. Some sauce to it, or uh, some um, some of the soup to it. And the liquid to it as well. That's the word I'm looking to. <laughs> oh, child! I'll tell you one thing though. It's absolutely confusing when you speak more than one language. And I'm not just bilingual. I speak three languages, and I speak somewhat some of a fourth language which would be spanish but my spanish has gone so bad over the last couple of years because in the netherlands in Suriname, where i was born spanish is a mandatory um language in school in high school um spanish english and dutch are mandatory languages um all of our TV shows do not have subtitles. So, you know, they're English spoken and that's about it. Which is a good thing though, because, you know, that's how you learn to speak and understand English. But the Surinamese Creole is also a mixture of Portuguese, some African dialect, English, Dutch, and so, you know, that's the language the ancestors had to come up with to communicate with one another because they came from different um, sides of um, Africa, mostly from West Africa though. But still, you know, you have so many tribes and so many dialects. So let's go ahead and puree this, we'll pulse this. Until we have a nice creamy consistency. Let's 
say about a minute or two. Yep, that's nice and creamy. And then smooth this closer. Oh, that's nice and creamy. Absolutely nice and creamy. And then we'll add back in this back into the soup. Look at that. Look at that. Yes, ma'am. So we can taste this. The salt is kind of okay. But it definitely could use some more. We'll add some more black pepper to it. Uh huh, uh huh. Just a pinch or two and some more. You know what I'll do? I will add some fresh cayenne peppers to the soup. That's what I'll do. That is what I will do. Okay. So, cut it up like this. some fresh parsley too. Let's rinse the spoon and taste it one more time. Just to make sure it has enough salt. See, always make sure you rinse your spoon before you go back into, you know. Do you guys see this? When you puree your potatoes 
and add them back into your liquid. It thickens up the soup, which is what we like. Okay. And then you can also add some more chili powder. So, it's just the two of us in this house, but I will share the soup with the neighbors. So, that's what we'll do. But, this is it. See this? That is some restaurant quality soup. It didn't cost me a lot. Um, this doesn't even. This is, I don't know, between five and ten dollars of soup, and you can feed, I don't know how many people, at least ten people with this. So, it's a perfect soup for a rainy day. So, what I'll do is just serve it, have you guys um, see how I serve it. And then, um, yeah. That'll be it. So, this is how I serve it, my soup. Which is um, a grated cheddar mix. And... Um, that's about it. I'm not hungry right now, so. But the taste is really good. It's just like, you know, any other time I've made this soup. So, um, yeah. Thank you for supporting me. I hope you guys enjoy this recipe as well, as much as I always do. Um, Make sure you um, subscribe, like, comment, share. Um, and just like I said in the beginning, if there's anything you want me to try, please go ahead and send me um, a message or comment under one of my videos. And I will make sure I get to it. Um, so thank you. And I'll see you next time. To the Ludoki. In the meantime, be gentle, be kind, love on yourself. Hold yourself tightly and give yourself some space and some time to, you know, get to know yourself better and have patience with yourself. First and foremost, have patience with yourself. Be good. Doodle-a-dokey. Mm -hmm.